Hi everybody, it's Fran Anken with Jump Realty and we are back with Friends 4 on Fridays. We're here with Mark and Brian. Hi. They're <laughs> renoing in my neighborhood and I totally accosted them because they're demoing today. So, we're talking demo. Are you guys ready for your four questions? Absolutely. Okay, number one. Is there a right way to demo or can you just like have at it and start swinging at things? Uh, for sure. Carefully and with a plan is the best way to go about it. Okay, so you're a man with a plan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's always good. Um, number two, what is the difference between a livable demo and like a vacant demo? So livable is you got to contain dust and making sure it stays clean in the rest of the house. Uh, non livable is you can make as much mess as you want. Ooh, as much mess as I want. I like that. It's, it's like very, not cleaning up the dishes. It's very therapeutic. <laughs> that, you know what? We'll come and you can charge people and they'll like break things, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, the cleanup part after demo, what do people need to know about cleanup? So don't worry about making a mess to begin with. Clean it up when you're done and make sure anything hazardous gets put away properly. Okay, no hazardous. Make sure it goes to the dump properly and just make a big mess and wait till the end. That's right. Okay, um, what do you wish people knew that they don't? Stop using bleach for mold. Yeah, it doesn't actually kill the mold. It will on hard surfaces, but it'll feed the mold after with the moisture that's left behind, especially if it's in a soft pore surface. It doesn't kill the root. I did not know that. So no bleach, what should they use if not bleach? Uh, the best in-home chemical is vinegar. will uh, kill 85% of all mold uh, types, but you can go commercial uh, products as well. Okay, I like household vinegar, that works for yeah. me. Okay, awesome guys, I really appreciate you taking the time. If anybody out there has any questions, um, put them in the comments and we'll get Brian and Mark to answer them and we'll let them get back to work. Thanks guys, see you next Friday. Have a good one.